what's going on guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh stay up to date with all my uh uploads and stuff in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to do a full detail on the car uh from inside and out i'm gonna try to stay on a budget i'm gonna run to the auto parts store right now and go pick up some things that i need and in my opinion it works for me some people do it different i'm gonna go off of uh just reviews that i've seen pretty much products that i've seen videos on how to use them and stuff like that so yeah let, let's get started Right here, you get a couple things that I need. Get this right here. Mm. All right, guys, here's some of the products we'll be using today. You can pick this up at any auto parts store. I went to AutoZone because it's closest. But yeah, we kept it in the budget. Tried to stay under $100. This was roughly about almost almost about 100, so we did good. But yeah, let's let's get started, guys. All right, guys, went ahead and took all the mats. You can see Need some cleaning for sure. Big shout out to Chemical guys, they got some amazing products. This right here is the interior cleaner, interior quick cleaner, quick detailer. It's the one I'm using on the, on the Jeep right now. I'm gonna use a little scrub to get in between the seams and stuff. But yeah, let's keep going. All right guys, while we let the interior dry, as you guys can see it's pretty much, it's clean. We're gonna hit the mats real quick, we're gonna wash the mats, they're dirty. Go. All right, guys, we're gonna start moving on to the outside. The interior is pretty much done. Damn, look at that shirt. Shout out to my boy Steve for the shirt. But yeah, let's let's keep it moving. Make sure you add some water, the shampoo with some water, and spray it from there.
We're gonna move to the drying process now. I'm gonna start drying this bad boy. The outside's pretty much done. I'm gonna hit these door jams real quick. And then from there, we're gonna use the spray wax for the outside and then clean the wheels. Guys, I'm gonna be using this uh, Lucas Speed Wax. Works awesome, I use them in all my cars. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Just light layers. Spray the whole car, use a microfiber, wipe it down. Stuff works amazing, I recommend it. Protects the paint and everything. Big difference right away. Stuff works amazing. Top of some of this, so this is where most of uh, the sun damage happens. So you, this is the UV protection. Keep the paint nice and good. Keep the clear on there. All right, guys. Next, I'm gonna be using this uh, black trim restorer. As you can see, my bumpers all all beat from the sun. You know, I'm gonna use this stuff. Works great. You can see. Damn. Check out what the wax did, guys. But yeah, we're gonna use this. Check it out how it works. Just wanna put a couple drops. Not too much. Go ahead and just start. He's not gonna completely restore it unless you get it painted, but it'll protect it somehow, you know? All right guys, pretty much done with the outside. Gonna hit the wheels now. I'm gonna use this right here. Chemical Guys wheel cleaner. I personally never use it, but Chemical Guys always puts out good stuff. As you can see the wheels are all dirty. I'm gonna go hit it, spray it with that, then hit it with the brush, and hit it with some tire shine. Let's get it. Alright guys, the Jeep is done. Let me show you guys real quick how it came out. I mean, just the home detail, you know, nothing special. I mean, people do it different ways, but this is the way I do it. I like to take my time with it. But yeah, check it out. Look how it came out.
I'm about to cut out this video today, guys. As you guys seen earlier, I went ahead and I did a full-on detail on my truck. Did a full-on detail. I mean, without the shelf products, I mean, you can go pick these up at pretty much any auto parts store. I went to AutoZone to get everything. I mean, we, we had a little budget on how much we were going to spend. We spent under $100, so that wasn't bad. The end result is worth it. It does take some time. And I'm not a professional, but it's just the way I've done it before. I've seen people do it and reviews, you know, so. End result is good. It looks, looks clean. Much needed. Especially with the newer trucks. If you guys have a newer truck, newer vehicle, I mean, you can... It won't hurt to give your truck a nice detail. Because these trucks are expensive. But yeah, um, go ahead and hit the like, like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And stay tuned for the next one.